In a previous video, I showed how to use a sketch to control planes in such a way that they are always evenly spaced. This is a good method for creating profile planes for a loft, provided that the loft is proceeding in more or less one general direction, such as horizontal here, and that the profiles themselves do not dramatically vary from one profile plane to the next. But using evenly spaced planes is obviously not going to work very well for a loft shape like this, which is changing its direction very dramatically, in fact, doubling on itself. In this area here, the loft is more or less proceeding in a horizontal direction, so we can continue to use vertical profile planes, but as the loft is tilting upward, we need to tilt the profile planes so that they are more or less perpendicular to the direction of flow of the loft. SOLIDWORKS doesn't like making a loft where the profile plane, say one here, is at an extreme angle to the direction of the loft. So if we had a profile that was vertical here, the loft would be coming into it at, at a very shallow angle. So just like before, we are going to use a layout sketch to control the location of the planes, but not in quite the manner we did with the evenly spaced planes. Here I've turned on my planes and my sketches. We can see that in this region here, I've placed vertical planes, but as the loft starts to bend around, I have a plane tilted at about a 45 degree angle here, roughly a 40 degree angle here, whatever this completing angle is at the tail of the loft. It might have even been a good idea to have placed a profile plane here, but apparently the loft worked without it. It's often a good idea to place your profile planes wherever there's a maximum point in your loft or a minimum. So it could be argued that perhaps this profile plane here would have been a little bit better shifted over in this area here, but once again, this loft seemed to work okay just as is. Rolling back, we see the layout sketch for the loft and we have a layout sketch for the location of the planes, which I'll go ahead and edit. And these are just vertical lines. In this case, this one I make coincident to the uh, spline point, so it occurs right at the maximum of this inner spline here. This one I located with a dimension. I probably could have located at this spline point or at this spline point. And this one here, I tried to give an angle that approximately was perpendicular to the general flow of the loft and did the same thing here. And then this last one here is just controlled by the original layout sketch of the loft itself. So what we want to do is have profile planes that pass through these lines drawn in our layout sketch but are also perpendicular to the front plane. So if I orient the front plane with our screen, these planes would be coming straight out of our screen and would appear to be edge-on just like we see these edges in our layout sketch. To do this, we're going to go to our plane command and our first reference is going to be the front plane. Normally, of course, this always defaults to just giving us an offset plane. But for our second reference, we can select a line in our layout sketch. When we do this, SOLIDWORKS defaults to placing a plane through that line perpendicular to whatever the first reference was. So now what we have is a plane perpendicular to the front plane and passing through this line. I can do this with my tilted ones. Again, choosing my front plane as a first reference. These tilted edges as a second reference. And here we see we've created a plane tilted at an angle but perpendicular to our front plane. So we can just keep doing this. To create all of our planes before making our loft. So we would finish this by adding this plane here and adding this plane here. And then once we've completed that, then we can just go right on ahead and draw our profiles on each of these planes as desired. If for some reason we need to change the angle of a plane, we don't have to go back and recreate the plane itself. It's just a simple matter of going into 
the plane layout sketch and just altering the sketch as needed. I can change the angle of this plane and I can even change the location of it if I want.